The crosstab query is a useful interrogation tool. To start with, it's worth creating your first few crosstabs through the wizard so that you get a handle on what goes where and which bit belongs to what bit. The way a crosstab works is it will take your data and crosstabulate. So it will actually use the data for its columns and its rows. Let's see how it works. We don't have to go to create, but we're going to use the query wizard this time. Just for the first time, you create a crosstab. So it's crosstab query wizard. OK. Now your crosstab can be based on a single table or on multiple tables using a query. So if you firstly create a query based on the multiple tables, then you can create a crosstab based on that view. We're going to start with a single table, which is the employees table. Next. What field values do you want as your row heading? So along here, we're going to have separate rows. The value of those rows is going to be determined by the unique values within the particular column we pick. So if I pick the department column and then little arrow to push it to the right, you'll see that it will create a separate row for each department. Here it's indicated that as department one, department two, department three, department four. Now we can add secondary fields and tertiary fields here, but it's safer just to leave this as one for the moment. So we're going to have a separate row for each department. Next, which fields values do you want as the column headings? So across the top, which of my fields is going to be the best to use for column headings? Well, why don't we go for county? So then each unique county will be a column heading. Next. What number do you want calculated for each row and column intersection? So where the department and the counties meet, there'll be a little cell. And in that cell, we'd like to carry out a calculation. What I'd like to calculate is actually how many people are in that county and that department. So I'm changing the function to count and the field remains as ID. So it's going to count all the IDs that fall into each individual county and department combination. Do you want to summarize each row? Little tick here says yes, remove the tick and you won't get any row summaries. I'll leave the tick in. Next, what do you want to name your query? Well, access simply puts at the end underscore crosstab. Let me call mine QRY department county count because that's what it's doing. And then I can view the query. So when I click finish, there's my result. One column per county, it's Durham, North Yorkshire, Teesside, Tynaway, West Yorkshire one row for each department and each of the departments have been totaled up so i've got one accountant in north yorkshire 19 clerical spread across the whole country one finance in north yorkshire sales 26 spread across each of the counties so that's a cross tab it takes one or more fields and uses the unique values within that field to create the row headings or the column headings where the row or the columns intersect, we can then do some mathematical calculation on any of the other fields in your data. Let's look at creating one more. Crosstab query wizard, okay, based on our employees. Next, let's choose marital status as our row headings. So even though it's given an example there of marital status, one, two, three, four, we might not have four, or we might have more than four. Next, what about the column headings? Well, where the columns crisscross, let's have the sex. So that's going to give me the gender. Next. And then we'd like to, again, count the IDs. Or if you have some numeric fields in here, such as salary, we could sum those. Sum the salary. So we're going to sum the salary where the gender and the marital status intersect. Remove the default access name. So it's going to be query, marital status, gender, salary. Finish. Now we get a nice little summary table. Total of salary, males are one, females are two, marital status and single. So we get the total for each marital status and then a split by each of the genders. So that's the power of the cross tab, which we've seen there by using the wizard. So it's taking us through the steps, making sure we don't miss anything. The next step is see if we can build one of these on our own.